Hi everyone. So we have a question on this, the sum of the second and fifth terms of an arithmetic progression AP is 42. If the difference between the sixth and the third term is 12, we are asked to find A, the common difference, B, the first term, C, the 28th term. So when we have questions like this in the exam, it's very easy for us to do, okay? You just need to interpret all the same things very well and appropriately. So how do we solve it? Solution. Solution. Good. So now, how do we solve for arithmetic progression? We have a general formula for it, which is this first term plus n minus 1 times d, okay? a stands for the first term, d stands for the common difference between the number of series given to you or sequence of numbers, okay? What is that by first term? Let's say you're having 1, 2, 4, 8. The first term here is a, okay? If I want to look for the common difference, I have to subtract the first one from the second by saying 2 minus 1, 1. So this is what I mean by first term and common difference. Okay, why n is number of items, number of time, number of no, the numbers you are having in the sequence. All right, so the second term now, following this, so my second term will be, my first term is already given, plus 2 minus 1 d. So this gives me a plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times d, a plus d. So that is my second term. Or fifth term of an ap, so I'm having a plus 5, I will replace my n with 5 minus 1 times d. So that gives me a plus 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 d. Now, I'll figure out the first, second term, and the fifth term, and these are my results. But the instruction says I should look for the sum, so meaning I should add up. So when I'm adding up this, I'm having a plus d, which is this plus another a plus 4d. So a plus a is 2a, d plus 4d is 5d. So the instruction says is 42. So I have to say equals to 42. I can call this on my equation 1. Okay? Now, if the difference between the sixth term and the third term is 12, so let's look for the sixth term where we figure out this. So for the system, which is this, let me continue from here, for the system, so I see this is 6 equals to a plus 6 minus 1d, so this gives me a plus 6 minus 1 is 5 times d, that is 5d, so this is the sixth term. So the third term, which is this, I'm having a plus 3 minus 1d, so that gives me a plus 3 minus 1 is 2 times d, that is 2 so, what is the difference between the sixth and the third term now, which is, so I say I have a plus 5d minus a plus 2d, okay? This is what I go. So, 5d, this 5d, okay, minus 2d, and they're having 3d, okay? So, is 12 equals 12, okay? So I can easily find my d, okay? So by dividing both sides by 3, so I'm having d to be 4, which is the common, we call it common difference in AP. So we have find this common difference, which is 4. So when we are putting our common difference to be 4, okay, we can now proceed to the second and get the first term. So to get the first term, we we'll come back to this equation and substitute what this stands for in this equation, okay, to arrive to our first term. So to do that, we we'll say 2a plus 5 into 4, the common difference, equals to 42, okay? So we have 2a plus 5 times 4 is 20, equals to 42. By now we solve this, we have 42 minus 20, that is 22. Okay, so we can easily get a by dividing by 2. So we have 11, which is our first term. So our first term stands for 11. So the last one here says we should look for the 28th term, meaning when n is 20. 
Okay, so using this expression, this same formula here that says to look for the n term of an arithmetic progression, you say the first term minus the number of terms, subtract one from this, multiply by the common difference. Okay, so we have figured out our first term, so we have 11. So we have 11 plus, we are working with 20, so we have 20 minus 1. The common difference is 4 times 4. So we have 11 plus 20 minus 1 is 19. So 19 times 4. So that should give us, when we multiply this, that should give us uh, 76. So 76 plus 11. Okay? So we should have 87. This is our final answer. Thank you very much.